Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with another video for Ephemera for the Beloved Beauty Journal. I'm going to be creating a very different project and I want to preface this by saying that I got this idea from Lacey over at Paws and Paper. She was the first one I saw actually use transparencies to print on. So I tried that and I also took a transparency and I embossed it. Isn't that fantastic? So we're going to make some pockets out of this. I just did one little sheet just as an experiment. In your big shot it was just a normal sandwich. So it was the plate the embossing folder with the paper in it, and then the um, top plate. So super easy. Um, it didn't cut through too deep because I, I am not feeling anything ripping or tearing in there. But isn't that just gorgeous? And up against these prints, it's gonna be absolutely amazing. So I'm wondering if a person could emboss or um, use the vintage photo ink over that. I might try that just on a, on a piece of scrap. So, um, actually, let me try that. Let me see if I've got a little piece of scrap here that I could try that on um, while we're here. Oh, here is a little piece of scrap. So, let's just see if it will stick. I don't know. I'm going to get that out of the way. Okay, it doesn't work on that side, so maybe it's the other side. There is a print side. So... It doesn't really work so that's not gonna happen <laughs> but we don't know until we try right so um, we're gonna make I'm not exactly sure what we're gonna make I think I'm gonna make two large tags at the very least um, and some other things so the other thing that I did is I took um, paper I'm using all papers from chapter one uh, papers and the, these are papers that I'm using in the Beloved Beauty Journal. I'm using French Florals and their newest kit, which is Victoriana, label mixtures, and maybe some antique florals. Those are all um, kits from Chapter 1. I will also be using their Vintage Lace kit. So that's what you see here. This is a vintage, this is vintage lace printed on a transparency. So it's kind of hard to see. Um, if this is what it looks like when it's not on a transparency, that's a good comparison. And then this is it on a transparency. So I thought it would be fun to play around with what it would be like to make a tag with a transparency on top. And um, it's tricky because you know you don't want it to get messed up in the journal. But this is not thin. This is pretty durable. So we're going to make two tags um, using that. So um, this is another um, page that I did. This is from the Victoriana um, kit as well. And I'm going to put this green paper behind it because I thought it looked better than this lace. Although the lace is quite lovely too, isn't it? I might change my mind on that. It was the last minute that I put the, that I copied this on the back or printed it on the back. So we might go that route. So the tricky part is is that the um, uh, my regular cut my we are memory keepers cutter. This one will cut the transparency, but my big guillotine will not. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to trim things up without having an issue. But we're going to go ahead and give it a try. So the first thing I'm going to do is get this stuff out of the way. And I think we're just going to be making the bases and I'll have to come back off camera and do the decorating embellishing because this is going to take a while because I have no idea what I'm doing. So let's decide how big we want this to be because our journal is going to be the standard size. So it's going to be, it's going to measure six by nine. The largest page will be five and three quarters by eight and three quarters. So I like to have some big tags in my journal. So let's see how tall this one is. And I apologize, this is off camera for you. So this paper is cut to just under eight inches. So we definitely want to, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and make it, um, let's make a seven inch tag. So I'm gonna get my regular trimmer out here. And we're just going to have a go at it, right? So, goodness gracious, Renee, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, it's uh, it's Saturday. I've been kind of uh, vegging out. I am not feeling good with my back. So I've been take, laying low and took a nap and such. 
so I thought I would try to get a video in. That's not a very large tag, is it? Because we can go it's all the way to nine inches. I wonder if we should go eight inches. Let me try that again. I can do that again without any problem. Eight inches with a top though. How about seven and a half? Maybe I didn't get that at seven. That is seven. Hmm, that's seven and a half. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try it again and do seven and a half. And then let's just do seven and a half by four. So that's what I'm gonna do there. Let's try that again. When I do a big tag, I want it to be fairly large, so that is perfect. So that is one. So now we need to cut our transparency down, and this is where it gets tricky because I can't cut it with my guillotine. And I guess I could. It's going to be tall enough. Sorry if you guys can't see that. It's going to be tall enough. I can slip it in here now because it's. I'm cutting the, the direction that, that will fit in this because this is a very small cutter. So I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, what did we have that at four inches? So I'm going to go ahead and cut this at four inches. I already cut the edge off this other side. So go ahead and chop that. Hopefully it'll work. All the tests worked. <laughs> and now I can go ahead and um, trim off this bottom and top edge because before it was just too big to fit in the in the cutter So I'm just gonna line that up Turn it over Well, let's make sure we've got it at the right height first. We want it at seven inches, so I need to mark it because I have a hard time reading this dealio this particular trimmer so I'm just gonna slide that in there like so and get it to the edge there and then I'm gonna remove that paper. I'm gonna slide that back and chomp. There we go. Oh, it's a little bit short. No, it's not. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so these will be fun for clusters, that little bit. Perfect, we'll hold on to that. So now the next thing is to decide how we want to attach this. So I think, just debating on that, I really, really like that side because it pushes back all the color. What do you guys think? This makes it quite light, which is nice as well. And then the back would be the green, I'm almost favoring this. I don't know. I don't know. Let me get some brads though because we have to figure out how to attach it, right? So we've got brads here. And then we'll cut our tag down. So let's see if we can find one that would go with this. Beauty. Ooh, that's really gorgeous. Look at that. That is the one right there. Goodness gracious. It's nice to find things that fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my just my regular um, trimming with my scissors to make my own tag corner. So I'm going to go like so. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take the solid piece, not the vellum piece. And whoopsie! <laughs> I always get turned around, right? You didn't know that about me, though, did you? <laughs> I'm not at my I'm not at my height of brightness right now. Oh goodness gracious. So that was that. So we're gonna turn it over. You guys feel me, don't ya? Sometimes they're just like that. Just difficult. Difficult to think, difficult to process. There we go. Set that out of the way. So I think we're gonna go light on this. Um, cause that can still be journaled on, on the back. So now the trick is, is how is it going to actually, is it going to punch? So I probably should test that too. So let me grab my, um, full punch and that scrap that I had out and see how well it punches. Oh, it gets stuck, but it does punch. So I think we're going to be okay. So let's go ahead and put a, Put a um, hole 
on the top. So I hope you guys will check out Lacey over at Paws and Paper. She is doing some amazing work. I've given her a shout out on my channel before because she's she's amazing. I want to make sure that's not too, too big. So hang on. Thinking about how big my brat is. I want to. I can do the whole punch as long as it's gonna not gonna rip off. So let me just examine this and see that it's not. I think it's going to be okay. Normally you wouldn't want to do that. You'd want to use a smaller punch. But I think in this case we're going to be fine. But anyway, she's doing some amazing content. She just finished a, um, a fairy journal, which was just incredible. Absolutely incredible. She is very gifted. Her channel is growing. I'd like to see it grow faster. But there we go. So let's go ahead and ink the edges of this tag really quick before we move on. I think this is gonna be fantastic. The tricky part is you, you have to be mindful of how it goes in your journal and that it doesn't get, you know, it doesn't, that, lay, that top layer doesn't get kind of abused in the taking in and out. But I think it's fun to try. what we have there so now I want to think about do I want to put a pocket on this what do you think oh that's so beautiful oh my gosh this is gorgeous I'm just gonna open that brad up kind of tricky well tricky everything's tricky for me right now there we go so it can kind of um, it's got some wiggle room and we might want to really push that down. I'm gonna use my, let me find my pokey tool and see if I can push that down as much as it will go. So we have as little movement as possible. That's better. So then it's kind of a swing tag, right? I love that. Wow, that is so cool. And it's got a place to write on the front. That way it can be written on the front and on the back. So, do we want to try a little pocket on here with our other vellum piece? Or we could actually make a pocket out of this and put some real paper. Oh, I love that idea. Yes, let's do that. So let's put a pocket on the top of the swing tag. I think it's a little bit too deep for my liking. So I'm going to go ahead and just trim a little bit off. And I'm going to put a thumb notch in it. I love that this piece just happens to have that edge that's not been, that's uh, hanging over of her copy. I will tell you right now though guys, chapter one papers, this Victoriana uh, kit and this, the Victoriana kit I believe, um, they're selling for 22 cents right now because they're celebrating their two year anniversary. So if you're interested, well I don't know when it's gonna end though, um, in terms of when this video is going to post so hopefully you'll catch it. I'll try to remember to look it up and then put that um, in the video description so if you guys want to check it out you can head over there before it before it runs out. So again what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, I'm just going to put this on and then I'm going to decorate, do some embellishing on here off camera. So just because I, I don't want to rob our time that we're doing this right now to um, to do that. So I am going to also test my art, my Barely Arts and see if it will, if it will glue. Let me just, that's tricky. I think we're going to have to get some double-sided tape. So hold on, hold the fort. I've got some right here some really narrow narrow um, double-sided tape here so I think that's going to be our best bet we'll run a little bit on um, the three sides as you normally would a pocket I find this tape to be so fussy though do not like it 
do not like double-sided tape. Some people just like, woo, woo, just zip on through it, not me. Okay, so here we go. Hopefully it's not gonna show too bad on the other side. We'll see. It's definitely the way to go with this, um, this bit. I'm a little bit off, but I'm not gonna worry about it. So there is our first tag. I will probably trim that up off the camera just a little bit. But look at that, isn't that fantastic? Let's look at the back. Look at it, you can't even tell. That was a little bit off though. I should have paid a little bit more attention. So that would be my advice to you is don't rush like I'm rushing. But I will trim that up and it won't even, you won't even notice. So there is our first tag. So let's try the second one here. So I love this, love this, love this. So, um, let's see what do we want to do. This is going the wrong way. So I'm going to mark this so that I can trim it. I can find something that will actually mark on this. Where's my pen? Yeah, I can cut that with a cutter. My fumbly fingers here. I'm getting really excited about this journal. I laid out all the kit stuff and I'm getting ready to print on both sides so that I can use it however I choose um, going forward. I wonder if that would be better. I almost like it better on this one. I think I'm gonna change my mind. I like it better on this one. Okay, so there we go. So let's see how tall this is. This is eight inches, so we wanna again go to, um, what did we do? We did seven, I can't even remember already. Seriously, we did seven and a half. So let's do seven and a half again. Which means we just have to take off a little bit right there. And let's go ahead and trim this. Gotta keep going back and forth between the two cutters. Actually, it would have been easier if I just went like this, right? Seven and a half. Like so. And then let's do uh, let's do four inches again. a little bit of an edge that'll probably cover over with our um, with our inking something's off there so I just when I trimmed off the white border so now we want to go ahead and we're gonna do four inches here but I'm thinking I want to take off a little bit off of each side because I want to I want to have that lace curvature here that you see this bit here Probably easier to see there. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that over so that I can catch that, capture that. And we're gonna go four inches again. I'm loving this transparency business. How creative and ingenious that is. Oh, we gotta cut it down there. We still have to cut it down, Renee. I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna do this. Oh, look at that. You can see that it's lace. Isn't that so cool? Oh my gosh, and the paper on the back is just as gorgeous. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Like so. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut our tab shapes again. Did I throw that one away? It would be good to just follow what I already had. So that was off of that one, so 
Let's go ahead and do that. Turn that. <laughs> I am so fumbly today. I'm so sorry, guys. It's just not not flowing. That's right. I should just create a template. A lot of creators do that. They just create different size templates for their tags, and then they don't have to fiddle like I do fiddle. We make it work, right? I don't. I don't look for perfection, as I say over and over. Perfection is not the name of the game. So, there's our second one. Let's go ahead and ink this one up. This one's a little different because we don't have that writing space on the front because of the print that we picked, but that is okay too, because it's a lovely to look at, I think. Super fun. So as I mentioned before, um, well, this is Saturday the 9th, April the 9th and so I'm way way ahead in my um, in my videos but um, I talked in another video about having had my first full PT appointment and that was yesterday Friday and I have been hurting all day from that little puppy so it has been tough I'm gonna try to find something interesting here we've got got some of these kinds of brads that would be helpful if I held it up. That would be gorgeous right there. Let's do that. Easy peasy. So we're going to start with our hole again. And that one's plenty big to use our hole punch. I will save all those scraps. They're going to be gorgeous for um, little clusters and stuff that I like to do in the journal surprised that this punches through the transparency uh, without as much difficulty as I expected. I don't want to ink the transparency because I don't think it would work because if it didn't um, if it didn't let us um, use the you know I did the test on that piece goodness gracious Renee sometimes don't make any sense at all okay Just turning that, and I'm going to go ahead and give it a press so that it doesn't turn like I don't want it to turn when I'm done. I'm just going to press, get that really solid in there. I don't mind that showing. Um, so there we go. There's our another tag. Shall we put another pocket on here? I think so. I think we should. Maybe we should put a transparent pocket. Or, um, what is that? So this is the paper. So, I don't want that. That's too bright. Um, sorry guys, I'm trying to see what I have here. That I, oh, here it is. So let's, let's go ahead and use a piece of this. Well, I really want this though. Where's that paper? Where's more of this? <laughs> is it on the other side, silly girl? No. <laughs> oh there there's some we could use a bit of this because we've got I don't know what else I'm going to do with this so let's go ahead and trim a little bit of this off and make a little pocket and I'll probably make some little put some little ephemera in there I haven't cut out the ephemera from these kits yet so I have yet to do that I think we're going to go kind of up here Set that aside. We will not throw that away. Oh, oh, oh. We do want to go that way, though. Goodness gracious. Okay, so let's see. Let's do about two and a half inches. Like so. And then, whoops, still have to measure it out. Goodness. 
four inches. We know that it's four inches, our tags. So we're gonna take it off of this side so we don't lose that beautiful lace. So gorgeous. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna just go ahead and speed this part up because we're just gonna put some double-sided tape on here. watching paint dry okay it's okay there we go so that's it. why is that long it's I think it's sliding because the the brad is not holding it tight enough so it's sliding down that's okay so I'm gonna move this and so hopefully I can get this a little bit more lined up with my um, my transparency here. I don't want it to be crooked again. So let's see. I put it right. Oops, we got a little bit of glue there. Or tape, rather. Hopefully that will be better. There we go. There is our second tag. Aren't those absolutely stunning? Okay, so we still have more to do. Let's see, what do we have here? So we still have this paper and we have this paper, which um, we could just make some pockets out of this, but I'm not sure. I don't have a lot of transparency left here. Um, I just have this piece that's full and it's not my favorite. We do have this bit, which would make a great pocket. So let's go ahead and make a pocket out of this. It's not as visible, but that's okay. So we want our pockets. So generally, I, I take my pockets as wide as the page, uh, as the as the largest page in the journal, which would be five and three quarters inches wide. So let's go ahead and well, let me get the cutter out. So five. And three quarter. <clears throat> Just gonna double check the measurements here because I don't read normal rulers very well. So I have this, this kind of a cheating ruler. It's not really cheating, it's just it's just helpful. So we've got five, yeah, five and three quarters. I was right. So we've got that pocket. I wonder if we want to make this a larger pocket. We could certainly do that. This is seven and a half. Let's cut that down to six and a half. I'm doing all kinds of stuff I don't normally do here. Perfect, perfecto. And then we're gonna cut, we're gonna measure this out and see how wide it needs to be. Well, it needs to be five and three quarters. <laughs> five and three quarters. So let's go ahead and get tricky part is doing that on that other guillotine it's just frustrating so let's see if we can get this lined up here it's so hard to see so hard to see let me see if I can mark this with my pen if it will mark enough yeah that works perfect and get the other I think I feel like I've got so many cutting implements here <laughs> Okay, and then we're gonna get that on that line. We're gonna chop that off. I don't know how it pinches, so shall we shall we try? I do have to have, let me grab a piece of scrap paper. I do have to have with my circle punch, even with um, like vellum and stuff, I have to have some um, some paper behind it to punch. So let's just test this and see if that's the case here too. Yep, that'll work. Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and, oh, oh no. Oh no, we didn't trim that edge off. Um, we've got a sliver that's gonna, that's going to be, it's okay. 
doesn't have to be perfect, right? So let's go ahead and cut, we're gonna cut a hole punch here because we're gonna make this a pocket on the top and it's going to have a pocket. I'm just trying to get it moderately in the middle. I don't care if it's perfect. And then we're gonna go ahead and punch this as well. Get it going the right direction. Isn't that just so beautiful? I just cannot get over the talent of people that create this stuff. It's just absolutely stunning. So let's see, hopefully we can do this. It's tricky to hold the transparency though because it's slippery. I can do it. Come on. Just gonna guess here. Come on, there we go. Punchy, punchy. Oh, it didn't punch all the way through. So what happened there? Should be able to trim that up, I'm hoping. Ah. I wonder why that didn't punch through. As expected. Hmm. And I can't really see where it's supposed to cut. So we're gonna call that good because it's not gonna really show. So let's go ahead and ink this uh, journal card up or pocket rather. Actually, I wanna round the corners on this, just on the top. Sometimes I like that, that softer look of the rounded corners. Getting some beautiful ephemera for this journal. So I hope you'll give the, um, give it, a, so that's not gonna be showing, so we don't need to worry about inking the back. I hope that you will give the transparencies a try. It's, um, it's similar to vellum. Um, so, I mean, if you do vellum, you're probably good, but I thought it was interesting to try. And so after I saw her video, I went ahead and purchased some and I love it. Prints on really, really well. Again, I just like my vellum. I just make sure that I have a piece of coffee, copy paper behind it so that it, um, you kind of fake the printer out by doing that. It looks so weird. I wish that didn't happen. Oh well, I almost put it, I almost glued it right there. I put the sticky tape. Seriously. I could use another week off, I'm telling you, from school. I'm not ready to go back. I'm not ready. I thought I was. There we go. Let's just burnish that a little bit with my fingernail. Okay. Let's see if we have any more success with this. Yes. Maybe there's hope for me. Yes. <laughs> I feel so accomplished. Until we get to the last piece, goodness gracious. Okay to put that there and so I am going to go ahead and say goodbye and then we will I will do some decorating and add some bits extra bits uh, on this and then I will show that in the photos at the end of the video so I think we're done for today we did two tags in a large uh, pocket here and I think that is good for today and um, I will see you in the next video take care bye bye